Hey Hawks, I'm Mr. Switzer, the video production teacher. This week, our period three video one class is taking over Hawk Talk. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Bella, and my story is on the color guard team. One season done, and on to the next. The Eldorado color guard team is working hard after a four month long fall season. Let's get a peek at what they're up to for their upcoming winter season. I'm Ella Davidson, and I'm a senior on color guard. To be in color guard, it takes a lot of grit and just persevering through pain and giving it your all. Color guard had a really great season overall. We got sweepstakes at more than one competition, and at championships, color guard got second place and the band got third overall. So for winter season, we separate into two teams, and our open guard is going to be going to Dayton, Ohio this year for championships, and our A guard team is going to be staying here and competing against the schools around our area. To be on our open guard team, it's not about certain skills, it's about your mentality and just pushing through. You have to try anything that's thrown at you, regardless of if it's scary or not. My favorite part about being on Color Guard is the friendships that I'm creating with both new members and the returning members alike. And I chose to be a captain because seeing someone grow over the season or even over the whole year is just, like, it makes me so proud to see them growing and getting better. I'm super proud of our team this year and everything that they've done. We had an amazing field season, we're going to have an even better winter season. Color Guard's first competition of the season is January 12th in Riverside. Good luck to all of our performers and best of luck on your upcoming season. I'm Katie. I'm Devin. And this is our story on the Lawson Dynasty. My name is Shan Lawson. Uh, Steve Lawson. Grady Allen Lawson. This is my 22nd year here at El Dorado High School. I've been here since 1999. I am a sophomore at El Dorado and I am in the wrestling program. It's the first sport that a little kid can start wrestling. I was four years old, I was eight. My older brothers wrestled and I started here in uh, 1972. First, I didn't really like wrestling when I was younger, but I got into it recently and I'm glad I like it now. What made me interested in coaching dance team? Um, I wanted to work at El Dorado, and the dance job opened up in the middle of the year, at the semester. So I decided to apply. We're on our fourth of five that have come through El Dorado, and it's been a really good experience. Fun having them, fun seeing them on campus, fun going to their events. Um, not always the greatest to have them on the team. You try not to treat them any different than the other kids. It kind of sounds cliche, but it really is our second home. I grew up being an El Dorado kid uh, in the neighborhood, running around watching my older brothers, doing everything. Mr. Lawson graduated from El Dorado, so it was very natural for him to want to come back here. Um, but it didn't take long for me to realize what a special place it was once I started teaching here as well. I don't know, I kind of just like always thought like El Dorado is like my home. Like I know the campus like back of my hand. I've been coming here since I was like five years old. I feel like I've always like been meant to go here. I've really, really loved it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Hey, I'm Kiona. And I'm Caitlin. Have you heard about the many donations you can make this holiday season? Well, if not, we're here to tell you. Ronald McDonald House, Goodwill, the Salvation Army Thrift Store and Donation Center, or any library. These places tend to have yearly toy drives and take donations year-round. It's the holiday season. It's not just time to receive, but to give. Donate today! I'm Michaela, And I'm Sabrina. And we're working with Dylan, Zoe, and Hannah on our period three takeover of Hawk Talk. We're out of the football and we're trying song and cheer. Today we're doing a sports swap. We're cheering songs, switch places with football.
Hi, my name is Phoebe. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and we're gonna show you how to make sugar cookies for the holiday. Hi, Hawks. With the holidays coming up, we wanted to show you an easy cookie recipe. You are able to modify however you want. Here are the ingredients that you will need. First, you wanna get a bowl and add your sugar and butter. Mix that, and then add your vanilla extract and ink. and now it's time to add your flour and salt. After mixing, you should get a ball of dough and you can now place it on your pan. Pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. After they are done baking, take it out of the oven and let them cool for at least 5 minutes. And there you have it, an easy sugar cookie recipe. Enjoy! My name is Jake. My name is Harmon. My name is Mitchell. My name is Thomas. And this is Pancake Madness. Welcome to Pancake Madness, El Dorado. We got two contestants here. They're gonna have eight minutes to cook three pancakes. Ready, three, two, one, go. I, I can't say I'm impressed with their progress so far. It looks looks pretty horrendous. Oh, they have a lot, a lot of work to do. Yeah. They're my chocolate chips. Meek sealing the chocolate chips. Batter and the stove. Mitchell, is this good? I don't care. <laughs> I'm excited. I cannot wait to eat them. Come on. Did you cook yours? But, uh, overall, I'm going to give that a solid, solid 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. 5. I can taste the yolk, so that's not a good thing. Oh, wow. Those are my thoughts. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see for the taste test. Let's see about that eyesore in the middle of the plate. <laughs> I'm going to give that a solid 2 out of 10. Um, I actually like Nathan's pancakes. 9, 9.5. 9, 9. 9.5. Absolutely. My vote goes to Nathan Meek. Harman, I would say it really came down to that raw yolk, so I'm gonna have to give it to uh, Harman. Harman <laughs> is our winner. <laughs> Signing off, this was Pancake Madness, El Dorado. My name is Leanne, and I work with William and Steven for the drunk driving prevention video, and here's what we able to come up with. Every day, about 28 people in the United States die in drunk driving crashes. That's one person every 52 minutes. If someone you know has been drinking or using drugs, do not let that person get behind the wheel. Take their keys and help them find a sober ride home. Always wear your seatbelt, and it's the best to dispense against impaired drivers. If you see impaired drivers on the road, contact local law enforcement. Well, that's it for today. Hawk Talk returns as normal next week. Have a great weekend.